sometimes you need to control the curve in a way where the curve itself is very smooth. The question is why would you need a smooth curve? Hi, I'm Malik Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. And today we're going to learn about something very important in curves. Th these are my RGB curves here. Uh, of course, this is just a normal curve. This is the highlights. I can bring the highlights up or bring it down. This point represents shadows up or down. And I can add more points in the middle to control the curve. And that's all nice and easy. However, sometimes you need to control the curve in a way where the curve itself is very smooth. The question is why would you need a smooth curve? The answer is very simply to preserve the roll off of shadows and highlights. Let's take a look. I'll reset this here and let's say that I need to make the image a bit more bright. So I can simply control the point at the top here. And of course, this is not usually recommended because it will almost certainly provide the worst highlight roll off you can think of. So let's reset. The other option is to add a different point here and pull it to the left, which is again better than the first option. However, in Resolve, there's a third option that is very interesting. I'll reset. And if I click on the three dots, here, there's an option here that says editable splines. If I click it, the curve still looks the same. So far, no changes to the curve. However, if I click on the highlights dot, there's a new dot added to the curve here. Well, this is not actually a dot. This is a handle. If I hold the new dot and I pull it up or down, notice what's happening. I'm only changing the curvature of the curve here without actually changing the location of the point. So the highlights point is still in the same location. However, I'm changing the shape of the curve leading to that point. And that can result in very interesting effects. Let's take a look. I'll first reset here. I'll select the highlights. And now I'll simply drag the curve up in this direction. Notice what's happening. I made the image brighter. However, the highlights roll off here in, uh, on her cheeks and her head is way more natural than if I simply drag this point to the left. Now I have a much smoother transition and the same with shadows. If I click here, now I will not change where the shadows point is. However, I can control the curvature leading to this point. So now I can have a very smooth transition between highlights and shadows due to the fact that I have a smoother curve now. So let's take further look on some of the other uses here. This is another image. The image looks very contrasty, very harsh. So the highlights are very high. The shadows just drop very fast and I need to make this a bit more uh, pleasing to the eye. So what I can do is simply to select the highlights point and actually bring the curvature down. It's not like I brought the highlights point down. The highlights point is exactly where it was. However, the curve leading to the highlight points have a much better roll off now. Take a look at how I recovered this guy from this to this. And this makes recovering highlights or shadows and getting smoother transitions extremely easier. So let's take a look at shadows here. I'll select the shadows point and drag the handle up, changing the curvature. And look at this. Take a look at how harsh the original image was and how we recovered a lot of the data here. And this also provides a very interesting effect. With the shadows controller pulled up, I can hold the shadows point and bring it down. So bringing the extreme shadows down while still recovering some of the shadows because I can simply bring this up this way. So now the shadows goes in this very smooth curve down. And if I pull it to the right, I can get some of the information down. Now take a look at the original image and the new one much better. Let's do the same for highlights. Just drag it to the right a bit and recover more highlights. And this look much, much better. Take a look at the original image, how it was very harsh in your face. And it looks very videoish, frankly, and how we recovered a lot of this guy as an image here. This is extremely important when you're using curves to learn this and it's always extremely easy because no matter how hard you try to control every single point on the curve, it's almost impossible to get these very smooth transitions unless you use the curves handles, which makes Resolve's curves extremely powerful. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you like this, please visit us at LearnColorGrading and FilmSimplified.com where you can find uh, a full free crash course uh, on DaVinci Resolve explaining all aspects of Resolve from editing, so the basics of editing, fusion, uh, grading, fair light, and export, all in a free, uh, easy to understand course. You can find the link in the description below. Thank you.